name is Nilagri Mandal and I am assistant professor of Triple IJS UEM Kolkata. As we have already discussed three essential elements of section 10 of the Indian Contract Act in my last video, so today we will discuss the remaining essential elements of section 10 of the Indian Contract Act. So the fourth essential ingredient for a contract to be valid is consideration. Consideration is defined under section 2D of the Indian Contract Act. So it basically means each party must make a promise to perform an act or to refrain from doing something. And exceptions to consideration is defined under section 25 wherein it says that certain exceptions which makes contract even without consideration as valid. For example, a property which is gifted is considered to be as valid even though there is no consideration. Fifth ingredient is legal object. So it is defined under section 23. It says that the consideration or object of an agreement is lawful unless it is forbidden by law or is of such nature that if permitted it would defeat the provision of any law or is fraudulent or involves injury to any person or property or the court regards it as immoral or something which is opposed to public policy. Let us understand this by an example. Suppose if I want to purchase some arms and ammunition without license, so it will be considered to be as unlawful. Another example is if I want to purchase drugs without prescription, so it will also be considered to be as unlawful and in case the court regards it as, as immoral so it will also be considered to be as unlawful or the object is here not legal and the sixth essential ingredient for a contract to be valid is something which is not expressly declared to be void basically the agreement should not be illegal some examples of a agreement expressly declared void by law under the contract act are agreement the meaning of which is not certain or capable of being made certain are void which is defined under section 29 for example if i went to a market to buy one dozen of apple so it does not make any sense because we tend to buy apples in terms of kg so here it becomes void Another is agreement contingent or impossible acts are void. So contingent agreements are not considered to be as valid which is defined under section 36 of the Indian Contract Act. And the third is agreement to do impossible act are void which is defined under section 56. For example, if a person enters into a contract to perform in a stadium for his act on a certain date but on that day, the person finds that the stadium is not present or the stadium has been destroyed. In that case, it becomes impossible for the person to perform the act. Therefore, the contract becomes void. Keep watching for such more informative videos. like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.